Right. <laughs> <laughs> laughing already? <laughs> All right. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. Okay, so it's alright. It's alright. Some people tell me, they tell me that I remind them of Whoopi. <laughs> the woman, not coitus. <laughs> Yes, Whoopi. I like to think of myself as a slightly younger and sexier version. Kind of like a Whoopi 2.0, if you will. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we do have a lot in common, for sure. I think probably the most obvious thing is that we both love our marijuana. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing, I've been conducting my personal research for the past 37 years. <laughs> I smoked my first joint at 12 and my last one about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so right about now, I'm feeling as perfectly enhanced as Kim Kardashian's ass. <laughs> Okay, hang on. I forgot. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I know why you forgot. Starts with M. Spells menopause. Okay, there's a lot of confusion surrounding marijuana for sure, all right? Uh, you know, for example, I mean, we call it so many bloody things. It has more names than vagina, even. Uh, almost as many names as God, probably. I mean, think about it. Marijuana, cannabis, hemp, weed, smoke, butt, you know, dope, pot, 420, chronic. <laughs> names. And honestly, coming from... <laughs> Coming from a uh, beautifully blended, biracial, black, African-Canadian woman of color, <laughs> I totally relate to this confusion. <laughs> it's funny, huh? <laughs> okay, but I hate, okay, I'll tell you this right now, I hate the stereotypes, all right? I don't like being called a stoner, and I don't like being called a pothead, because you know, really, I'm, I'm not really a daily consumer, I'm more like, like an anytime, anywhere consumer. <laughs> but I'm not a stoner or a pothead, I don't like being called that. I mean, I don't walk up, you know, to you, and call you a beer gut. Or are you a whiner? I mean, I might think it, but I don't say it. <laughs> and okay, listen, I cannot believe that here in Canada, marijuana is still illegal. I mean, especially for us here in British Columbia. Home to BC Bud. Come on, people, this is an export, a cash crop export that's worth about $6 billion a year. And we are known. We are renowned for our BC bud. We have some of the best marijuana worldwide. Give yourselves a hand. Be a proud Canadian. But guess what? It's still illegal, even if you're over 18 years of age. <coughs> unless, unless you happen to have a serious medical condition that fits the criteria for our government medical marijuana program. And guess what? <laughs> guess what, people? I do. Lucky me. Lucky me. I have this horrendous disability, as if being born a poor black woman was not me. <laughs> I don't, I don't talk about my disability too much. To be honest, I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed actually. It's, it's, it's this horrendous condition, honestly. It's a medical condition that's actually known or considered to be uh, the most painful condition known to mankind. 
And you want to know what they call this most painful condition? Cluster headache. Isn't that stupid? It's embarrassing. It's so stupid. That, it's so ridiculous. That would be like being a friggin', I don't know, like a hitman named Bubbles. <laughs> Give it up, Harper. I'm here to blow you away. But all joking aside, people, all joking aside, if you don't know it yet, I'm here to tell you that marijuana, cannabis as I like to call it, is an amazing, amazing, powerful healing tool. If you don't know that, you should know that. And I can prove it. You can ask my ex-husband, all right? He'll tell you. He knows that cannabis saved me from killing him. <laughs> And I will tell you that's one person who is not very happy that my mom and dad got together and made whoopee. And now I'm talking about the coitus. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all.